Greetings, salutations, and all good things in between. What's up, everyone? Matt here. Time to answer another question from a patron. Jared asks, hey, Matt, can you get an AppSheet app to run an app script to add contact details to your Android contacts? I've got a CRM app and my client requested it. I see there's a way to do it from Google Sheets, but you have to open the Google Sheet in order to do it, and that's not ideal. You're right, that's not ideal. And yeah, there absolutely is a way that you can do that. Google recently released the uh, app script automation integration that allows you to call an app script from an automation. Naturally, I made a sample app to show you how to do that. Let's get to it. Okay, firstly, uh, I'll put a link to this post in the description down below. Uh, but this is the post in the community where they talk about the general release for this app script functionality. And there's a lot of, you see there's 160, 116 comments as of this point. There's a lot of really good discussion down below. Um, and also I'll, put a, I'll also put a link for this um, help thing here, this, uh, <laughs> sorry, drawing blank here, for this documentation screen. Uh, because there is a lot of really good information inside this. It covers a lot of bases and there's some really good how to's inside here. So definitely give this a read if give this a read, if you're going to try it, um, before you move on. So the thing that I've done, right, is I basically went and I looked at the documentation for the contacts app for Google script and saw that there was a relatively simple way to do this. So I just created like the simple of simple of simple type of script integration to kind of make this happen. And I'll show it to you here. So there's really three types of things that you need to do when we're talking about this, right? You either need to add a contact, you need to update some contact details, or you need to delete a contact. So I just went and I created this manage contacts simple script right here, uh, which I'll put a link to. I've shared it with the internet. You can just, if you want to use this one, by all means, you can copy this if you want, whatever. Um, but it's very, very, very basic. And I I'm, I'm, should also point out that I only cover uh, a few of the attributes that are available inside the actual uh, contacts elements, right? So like inside the contacts, you've got a slew of different things. I think there's like 18 or 20 of them or something. And you have the ability to add your own custom attributes if you want. So <clears throat> like if you want to add a note or a website link or a fill in the blank, right? You have the ability to add all of these things and manage them through this system. I just did the very first three things. So it was just super, super simple. Um, you've got a first name, a last name, an email. I've also included a group, which can be very helpful to, you know, keep your contacts grouped. Uh, and there's also a phone. <clears throat> so this script contains three separate functions. There's an add contact, there's an update contact, and there's a delete contact. Uh, and like I said, these are all very basic and full disclosure, I am not a Google script wizard master at all. This is like really kind of hacked together on my part. So if anybody has something better for this, let me know and we can switch and share, right? Um, so the idea is I've got a, an app here that has a really simple uh, Google Sheet attached to it where I've got a first name, last name, phone, email, and a group, obviously an ID. Um, and then inside this app sheet app, there is a, an automation. There's actually three separate ones, right? Because when I add a contact, I need to add. When I delete it, I need to delete. And when I update, I need to update. So there you go. Um, so each one of these are all very basic. I'll just cover the add contact one. So when there's a new record made inside the contact table, the thing that it does is it calls this task, which is add contact, which we're calling a script for the contact table for this script right here. So the thing to keep in mind with uh, these scripts that you're running is that they have to be a dedicated script file on your Google Drive. Uh, the easiest way to do this is like, I've got my Google Sheet here, right? And this lives inside a Google Drive folder, right? 
Um, so inside that folder, like I just created my script file right there. So you can just right click, you go down here to more, and you have the ability to create a Google script. Uh, as, of the, as of recording this video right now, the, when you do this, it doesn't create the script file in the folder that you're, that you're doing this right click thing in. It makes it in your root folder. So you just gotta go find it and then move it back into this folder. But anyways, so the idea is you know, I got my database for my app and I've got the script that I want to run with it right here. It's a very simple thing. When you do that, uh, when, you create your when you create your automation and you say, I wanna run a script, you just click on the little thing and it's this, we're all familiar with this getting data from your thing and you just find where you put it inside your Google Drive and you're good to go. Um, it allows you the option, since I have multiple functions inside this script, you can choose what function you want to call. And if your function has parameters, uh, you can provide a formulaically derived value for your parameters. So like right now, I'm just simply calling the value from a column, but I could completely change this to where I could do math here. I could do a lookup. I could be, you know what I mean? Like fill in the blank, any kind of slicing, dicing, math, list math, whatever, whatever you're trying to do, you can do it inside here and you can drop that as a parameter and pass it to your script. Uh, so you can see, I just kept this really simple first, last, I just kept it, it's really, really, really simple. Um, I'm gonna, I'll talk on group here uh, for a second. Uh, I did include, so like if you go to your, if you go to contacts.google.com uh, and you create a label, um, this is the group that you can group people under and this is a nice, easy way to kind of keep everything organized. Um, uh, the script that I have that's available, um, unfortunately, for whatever reason, it was unable to create the group. So like I, I try, I'm not a script wizard and I tried to get it to work, but it never worked to where if I entered a group value inside my Google sheet that wasn't inside the actual groups, then it would make the group and then attach the Unfortunately, I never got that part to work, so maybe some other wizard out there will get it to work and we can add it in. But the idea is uh, like, go to your Google contacts, create a group, copy the label, right? And then drop that in, sorry, drop that inside your contacts over here. Um, so when you do this, right, so I've got an automation to create, I've got an automation to delete, and you can see it's the same thing. So, right, it's the same script, but I'm calling the delete function and I'm passing it an email. So I'm using the email to identify the, the contact so we can delete it out. And then update is the same thing, right? It's the same script, but I'm doing the update one, and then we've got all of this. Um, so, it's very basic, it works. Uh, I can do a little test here for you. So we will add like test number 10, sure. Um, and I'm gonna add this to this test context group. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna copy this label, I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna drop that in here, hit save, and then wait for this to go. And then I'll come over here and so we should, I see we already had number 10. I wonder, I wonder what it will do. Yep, it just added another number 10 because the script that I have is very basic. There is no intelligence involved with it at all. It literally says, hey, you added a contact record. Cool, we're gonna add the contact you just did. So that's why it gave me two duplicates. I don't have anything inside the script that says, like I could maybe, right? Throw something inside here where the add contact, like the first thing we do is we try and find the contact. If the contact exists, then we do an update. And you know, then kind of at that point, the add and the update kind of merge into one. But you, you see where I'm going? There's so many different avenues that you could take with this. The, the addition of being able to execute a script independently like this from your AppSheet app opens up so many avenues, it's not even funny. 
Last thing I want to touch on uh, is a really curious thing that I discovered. Um, so in my efforts to make this video and the preparation for this, um, one of the tests that I did was, well, what if I share a script from some other Google account, right? So I make the script in that account and I share the script with my account over here. Okay. so on my Google Drive, I, if I go into the, I don't have one shared anymore, but like if I go into the shared with me, right, I will have that script inside here and you can right click on it and add that. You can add a shortcut to your drive. Okay. That shortcut can be used just like the regular script. So for instance, I'm sharing this Google script that I have, that I've made. I'm, I'm sharing this one with the internet. Links down in the description. Um, you could add this to your Google. I don't know how you would do it exactly, but if you could add this script to your Google Drive, like you don't have to copy the script into a script file that you make you can just include a, a shortcut to a script file that somebody has shared with you. If you include this uh, shortcut in your Google Drive, when you're doing the whole um, inside automation and I go here and I say, I wanna call a script and then I go in here and I'm looking for it, the, the, um, the shortcut will appear inside this list just like your native files appear as well. And they actually work. They don't execute from w the root account. Uh, they execute from your account here. And there's actually a note that they give you right here. They say, this script will be executed as whatever the email is for your account. Um, but the curious thing is, right? So I don't have to have the script file on mine. I can just if somebody shares it with me, I can get a shortcut, put the shortcut in my drive and use the shortcut in this and it totally works. So I, I'm toying with the idea of creating some Google Drive and my, uh, you know, some Google Drive folder out there that's got a whole bunch of these script files that are available, that's just available for anybody. You just, there you go, access the folder, the script files in there, add a shortcut to that script file into your Google Drive and you'd be able to use that file which gives the ability of where like when I make updates to that, it's updated for you as well. You know what I mean? So you wouldn't have to, I wouldn't have to communicate the changes specifically that I did. Like here's the individual code that you need to replace, blah, blah, blah. Like I wouldn't have to do that sort of instructions. You wouldn't have to follow those sorts of instructions. It would just work. I could say, oh, somebody reported a problem, fixed it. And now you have that problem fixed too, because we're all operating from the same script files. Cool stuff, man. A lot of fun stuff with this, um, <clears throat> with these scripts that you can do. It's a thing that I've always, one of the main selling points that I've pushed with AppSheet is like you, you have AppSheet, which is incredibly powerful, but you can tie that with a Google Sheet, which is powerful in itself, but then you have Google scripts that are running in the background of that. And that opens up literally everything. Like with, with scripts, like there's nothing you can't do. Like you need to call an API, cool. We need to get data and parse it out, cool. We need to notify someone, cool. We need to, <laughs> whatever you need to do, you can do it with a script. And now AppSheet's made it super easy to launch whatever script you want to do from an app sheet app. Like you just find the file, pass the, pass the parameters, Bob's your uncle. Good stuff, man. Anyways, this uh, sample app, I will have a link for it down in my, uh, down in the description below along with everything else. I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you can get notifications about stuff like this. See you in the community, everybody.